Oh man. Oh. Just free guys. Just free. Let's go. Come on. Free. Yo, yo, yo. Wait, firstly, 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 before I say anything. Guys, make sure you subscribe. If you're watching this, make sure you subscribe because I need to hit 10K. We want to hit 10K by, I don't know when, by before the, mid, before the middle of the year. I want to, we need to hit 10K, guys. But yeah, man, guys, I'm not going to lie. It's Monday today. I came here on Saturday and I'm tight. Yes, the chin-ups, I'm not going to lie. They did feel good. They did look strict because I look, watched it back. I did lock out and I go down and I pulled up. But fam, my chest is still tired from all them press-ups I did. My triceps is aching. The only thing that's not aching is my biceps. Apart from that, yeah, and my core, because I need to start training core more. So we're going to do more core this session. But forget that for a second. My chest and triceps are tired just from press-ups like, and the dips. It's not like I did something crazy. It's like, fam, like, fam. Like, yeah, man, I, it's tired, but I'm, I have to be consistent. And these are the sessions that I have to push through. So we're actually going to work hard today. Man, we're going to work hard. What do you call it? Guys, I went running before I came. So maybe that's playing a part as well. Because when you do run, your arms are still a little bit like fatigued. So maybe as this session goes on, I might, obviously I'm going to get tired, but I might feel a bit stronger because I might like the blood is leave. Do you get what I'm saying? But right now my arms are tired and my shoulders and my chest and my triceps and Fam, let's just work, man. But today, we started with up. Whoa! We started off with some chin-ups. And now we're going to go into... I want, actually, I'm going to do dips. Or should I do static holds? But the holds I'm going to do is going to be... I'm going to pull up. Hold. One, two, three. Down. Hold. One, two, three. Up. Hold. Do you get what I'm saying? I might do that. Or should we do dips? What should I do? You guys are probably saying dips, 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 or pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's do the pull ups. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Then I'm gonna go up. Hold, down, hold, up. Guys, one other thing here. Yeah. Why do people put their thumb over the bar like this? Or they put their thumb on the bar or around it? What one is the best one? For me right now, I've just been putting my hand around it. I'll, at the end, I'm going to just try different grips. But right now, we're just going to focus on gripping it. But yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. Hold. Wait. Hold. One, two. 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 Two. Oh, let me just do sets of three. Oh, guys, that is so hard, man. It's actually hard. Is that too advanced? Should I just do up, dead hang down, hold? Up, dead hang down, hold. But that hold at the top and hold at the bottom. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Okay, let me dead hang. Let me just dead hang at the bottom. So I'm gonna go up and then down. Okay. Man, you guys are probably thinking, why well, haven't I? Uh... Wait, forget that for a second. Guys, I ordered a calisthenics book. It's coming on Wednesday, I think. And we're gonna talk about that because basically, I'm ready to take calisthenics serious, isn't it? And the only way I can take it serious is if I learn it properly. Yes, I can watch videos and learn it like through YouTube and stuff, 
But if I, me, like, if I not want to visually learn it, but really understand it, fam, I have to buy a book. Because right now I'm coming, I don't really have routines or anything that I follow. I'm just doing what I'm capable of doing. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing stuff that, oh yeah, this is hard, but I know I'm pushing like this. Or no, I'm literally coming here and just doing what I can. Like, that's, this is me, I would say pushing, yeah. Because I might come here once I get the book and it's telling me to just come here, do this kind of exercise, do these holds and finish for the day. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'm coming here trying to do this exercise, that exercise, this hold, this hold, this, that, that, because I don't know yet. Do you get what I'm saying? So this book, me personally, I feel like it's going to help a lot. Like it's going to make me learn it and understand. And I'm ready to learn and understand. So yeah, man, I ordered a book. It's called, I forgot what it's called. But I typed in on the internet the best calisthenics book and that was number one. So I got it. It's not Defying Gravity or something. It's, the, it's another one. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I got it. Guys, I learned this the other day. It's called the Iron Cross. When you're up in like this. Obviously, I can't do it, but it's when you're up. I can jump up there like this. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I'm gonna do some holds on this. Let's do that. Come on, boss, hold it. I'm just gonna try to hold it. Okay. Guys, them rings are hard. They're good though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the more I do the rings and the holding and stuff, the stronger I'm gonna get. Obviously, yeah, you guys said it in the comments, but I really, I'm starting to understand it now. That's why I'm saying the book will help so much because I will just understand it more. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, I'm gonna do more holds today because I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired really tired so only makes sense guys also another thing is yeah how do you train your core i know you do plank l hold knee raises knee holds like or your knees bent you can do there's stuff in it but i just don't know how to do it man that's why i need the book it's gonna put it together brother do you get what i'm saying that's like gonna put it's gonna make it's gonna make everything make sense. But before I get that book right now, I'm just here freestyling fam, doing a mad thing. I have no upper like push day, no pull day, no chest and back or no back and biceps or chest and triceps. I'm just freestyling. Do you guys it? <laughs> I'm gonna do the planche. Planche. I don't know how you say it, plank. No, not the plank, the pl where you're leaning forward on the parallel bars, the planche. Fam, I don't know what it's called. The plushy. Plushy. Okay, let's go. So you're here. Yes. Now my weight is on my feet. I'm not gonna bring it. Oh my days. <sighs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Let me not go so far forward. Okay. I don't know how I'm ever going to take my legs off the floor doing this because it's fun. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> oh, man. Guys, did you just see that? Did you just see that? Guys, did you just see that? Spider. <sighs> Guys, did you just see that? Did you see how easily I held that? That is crazy. Oh my days. Let's do that again. Oh my days. That was chin up grip as well. Mate. 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 That's wow. Wow. Guys, I'm getting stronger. I'm definitely getting stronger. Oh. Guys, I'm getting stronger. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, yeah? I'm gonna be so honest. If you're consistent, you'll see results. Like, I'm actually in shock. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a bit of shock. Cause deep, yeah? Last time I did the L sit, or L hold was like, it was like three sessions ago. Because I haven't done it in like three sessions. If you watch the videos, I don't think I've done it in like three sessions. Because I've always said, no, nah, like forget L hold. Like, it's too hard. But now I've come back to it after not doing it, but still, but training on and off. I'm not going to say training. Yeah, training on and off in the outdoor gym. Look at the improvement. Like I held it with a different type of grip because I saw Hannibal for King hold it. I was like, all right, that looks hard. So I was like, you know what, today, let me just try to hold it. So I held it. And when I first lifted my legs up, they felt, my leg, it felt strong. Like I felt, I genuinely felt strong. Like I did not feel like, Ugh. I felt strong. Then from that, I was like, calm, let me try to flick it like him. But I'm surprised that I was able to do that. I'm not gonna lie. That's made me, it's made me happy. Like, like wow, like I'm getting stronger. Like, Ugh. I'm not taking my jumper off yet until, until I'm like, guys, if you see my muscles. But the only thing with that here is I've always had muscles. So if, when, I, when you do see it, okay, let me not come and gas it up like it's gonna be some mad 2020, a new F1 car kind of livery coming out, da, 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 da. no, because I've, let me not do that. But guys, this is not, obviously, yes, I'm, I'm making videos and you guys have probably seen us thinking, why is he never showing like a body transformation or da, 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 da. I will do that at the end. But right now, I want you guys to realize like, just being consistent and working hard, you will get results. Not result. Obviously, you want results in your body, but you actually physically want results as well. Like you just don't want. You don't want visual results. And oh yeah, you look strong, but you can't do anything. You want. You want physical like results. Imagine looking strong, but you can't do one pull up or you can't do a dip or something. It's like, what's the point of looking like that? Do you get what I'm saying? But. I would rather look like weaker and smaller, but being able to do an absolute matting in here than looking extremely strong, big, whatever, but I can't do anything. Forget that, man. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I just did with that. L. that that's been the, obviously I'm not finished, but that's been the highlight of the session. I'm gonna go into pike press-ups now and stuff, but fam, that has, that is that, like, yeah, like, Come on, guys, man. Let's just be consistent. Stay disciplined. Let's go.
Guys, pike press-ups are so hard. I don't know if I'm doing them right, though. Does my technique, like, look right? Or do I need to work on the down bit? As in, you want to be more like a V, like, what do I want? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, what do I want? But now I'm going to go on to dips. I'm going to use the low bar because I'm going to try to tuck my knees. It's going to be hard because obviously I haven't done it before. But, pardon, I'm going to try to do dips, but with my knees tucked in that position. My triceps are tired, but I'm going to see if I can do it. Let's focus. I'm going to just try to do three because this feels hard. I tried to do one and it was hard. I want to talk as much as possible. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah? I saw Hannibal for King, yeah? When he did this, yeah? His triceps, he wasn't going down like this. He was going out like that. But I don't think I can do that because my grip and that is not that strong yet. I'll try to do it slow, but fam, that's advanced. Like this, holding it, and you're going this way. That's for your chest on the outside. I can feel it even when I'm holding it. But let me just try one. I'm probably going to flop, but let me try. Oh my days. Okay, this angle you'll see better. Because from the side it probably looked like I was still going back, but I was trying to go out. Now I'm here, you're probably gonna see a bit more. I'm gonna go like I need to hold it like this, not with my wrist in, my wrist out. I need to go here. Okay, it's gonna be hard. Come on. Wide or close? Wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let me hold it for a second. I don't want to bust my head on this full front one. If I do that, I'm done. Oh, whoa. Let's go. Go plank. Time for the cure. I need to tense up my legs this bit. How are you meant to do it? Are you meant to be flat like this, hunch your tent like that and leaning forward or just up? But this one, I feel it the most because I'm tensing my core like that. But I don't know which one in it. Let me just hold it for, I count 30 seconds in my head or something. Let's go. I'm trying to tense everything. I'm tired. Let's go. Oh, 
tense everything. I'm go I'm up on purpose and trying to curve like a C. Not like that. <sighs> Guys, I'm back home now in the room. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. This chalk is called the Mobu Liquid Chalk. This ain't sponsored, but this is really good. I gave it to some two guys in the gym and they was like, yeah, um, whoa, I can feel the grip. I'm not gonna lie, because I've never used chalk on that bars like that. This is the second time I've used it. And today I've really felt it like, obviously your hands still like get a bit hard, like the callus, 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 whatever it's called. But in terms of like the grip, like the pure grip, you can really grip it. So like, this helps a lot. Also guys, make, again, I'm gonna say it one more time. Make sure you subscribe, because we're trying to hit 10K ASAP. And I'm not gonna lie, today, I'm happy with it. I was tired, I am, well, I, when I say tired, I'm not sleepy tired, my body's just tired, isn't it? I am tired, but like, fam, I worked hard, like, I pushed through it. And I focused more on like, the holding kind of positions and stuff, and I really felt it in my shoulders and so on. So I'm happy, like, I didn't go there and just do bare pull-ups, bare dips, bare, like, deep. I barely did dips. Do you get what I'm saying? I barely, obviously I did, but I barely did dips. I only did like 20 or 15, if that. Do you get what I'm saying? I did 10, I barely did press ups, but I did a lot of holding and a lot of static stuff. And that, fam, you could say it's a static session. It was a static session. But me personally, I'm happy with that. I worked hard, like I know I pushed. Do you get what I'm saying? And the static holds, fam, it feels like your brain is shaking inside your head when you're holding it. And plus I went running in it. So when I was there, my, arms I just felt a bit tired because basically when you're running if you run with your phone in your hand like this that sh that arm is getting worked a small bit more than your other arm even though you think but the phone's so light it's not happening I'm telling you it's happening but overall guys I'm telling you like if you're consistent you'll be surprised with the stuff you can do because even me personally like I'm still I've still got it in my head like how am I gonna lose enough weight to be able to hold some positions like even the position, I don't know, the plank. It's not called a plank. And I'm not gonna lie, I watched the plank back. I was too, way too high on the plank. I thought I was curved like that, but I was just up like that. So ignore the plank. But um, the positions when you're on your arms and your legs are off the floor, the plancher, plancher, plancher. I don't know what it's called, innit? That position, yeah. When you're holding it, it's like, my legs are so heavy. How the hell am I meant to make them come off the floor? You get what I'm saying? But I'm gonna find a way to do it through consistency, literally. I'm gonna go again on Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm not going, I'm gonna do a bigger run tomorrow. And yeah, we're grinding. I meant to go to the gym later. I was gonna record it, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do in the gym. But when I get to the gym, I'm not gonna do much. I'll probably ride, then get in the sauna on the side and do my leg mobility. That's it, stretching. Because that's if I go to the gym, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna go because I'm tired. But I can't quit. I have to be strong. You have to be disciplined, dedicated. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in a bit.